Okay, as some people ask me, what's the workflow for generating nerves through 360 photos or equirectangular photos? So I'll be making this video to share that workflow. All right. Okay, let's start. So when we have our uh, equirectangular images, what we'll do is we want to remove our blurry images because blurry images interfere with the registration, right? Because if you have some blurry images, then they will not be aligned when you are doing your cold map step. And yeah, they're basically useless. So you might want to just remove them, right? So what we'll do is we'll split rectangular images into overlapping perspective images. So uh, cold map does not register rectangular images as is. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to split our rectangular images into multiple small images, and then we'll feed it into a, a NERF model, maybe NERF Studio or Instant NGP or any other nerf that you are using. And then you can export point cloud or mesh if you want, right? So in this case, let's uh, it's an example that I have some images, right? A folder which has a lot of images. What I'll do is I would manually go through them and remove blurry images. For example, you can see this one is clear, this one is blurry, and then I would just remove the blurry one, right? And the second stage to remove blurry, uh, images was using Laplace of variance. So Laplace of variance, it tells you about the sharpness of an image. If you have a lower value of this Laplace of variance, it means that there are chances that you would have blurriness in the images. Otherwise, if you have a higher value of uh, Laplace of variance, then a kind of a way it says that you have a sharp image, for example. So what I'll do is uh, for all the images in my folder, I would uh, you can use this function, right? So uh, this function, what it will do is it will create this kind of plot and it will show you how the this value of Laplace of variance is changing in your whole folder, right? In all the images of your folder. So uh, in this region, the Laplace of variance is slow. So it means that there can be blurry images. It's not 100% sure because uh, this value it also depends on the image characteristics. If your image is taken in dark or has some objects which are have a uniform uh, representation, a uniform appearance and occupies a big space in your image, then uh, this value might not be high. This value might be low, but even when you will have a clear image. So it's not a very mm, clear cut indication whether you have a sharp or a clear image. So. But if you have a, a low value, what you can do is you can just see if yeah it makes sense or not. For example, if I'm taking a picture which is in this lower region, so it would look something like this. And this for sure is blurry, right? Because I cannot make this detail, right? This a person is very hazy. This machine is also very blurry. Same goes for mm, this uh, excavator arms right these are not very sharp while if i take some image from like this this range which is in the highest value range then i get an image something like this which now for sure is much more sharp right this person this person have a sharp boundary right and again for the excavators while in my earlier image this was all very blurry so this is another way through which i was like using this a laplace of variance to filter out the uh, blurry images. So the suggestion is that you create this histogram and then you would just manually see if yeah those images are blurry or not and if they are then you can remove them right. So once that is done as I've told you that uh, cold map does not uh, register rectangular images as of now and there are some algorithms on open SFM that are being developed which would directly take equirectangular images and could register them, but I really don't know much about it. So uh, for using equirectangular images, what I was doing is I would split this into uh, multiple perspective images. So this uh, 360 view is basically uh, if I wrap this uh, rectangle, this image, equirectangular image on this sphere, right? It will cover a whole circle. Hmm? So what I will do is, I will place my camera at the center of the sphere 
and I would split image in a small, small portion. And another thing that, that is important to take care of is when you are moving from one image to the other image, you have to make sure that there is a sufficient overlap. So my next image would be having approximately 70% overlap. And then I would make another image in this region and I will do it for whole 360 degree rotation. For this, you can use a uh, mesh room, I guess mesh room to split uh, images into perspective, the, the secure rectangular images into perspective images, or you can use uh, Python libraries. One is uh, Py360, something like that. I'm not remembering the name. Yeah, but if you go online and search uh, equirectangular to perspective images, you will find some libraries, right? And another uh, way of projecting these images is uh, consider that this, this equirectangular images is wrapped around in a cuboid, around a cuboid. So now you're opening all the six faces of a cube or cuboid. So it's a cube map projection where this is your front, this is your uh, left side, this is your right side, this is your behind this back back image. This one is your top image and this one is your bottom image, right? So now you get this six images. Uh, and bottom images mostly for like for my case, it's construction site. So bottom image mostly contain camera. So I was removing those bottom images and I was using only the five images for registration. So I hope it helps. And then you can use uh, any other, uh, you can use these images in Nerve Studio and in Instant NGP, or if you are training your own Nerve on your PC, then yeah, you can use them directly. And if you need any other uh, clarification over any aspect, which is not clear, let me know. And I hope it's, now it's very simple to, ins to like create nerves because now the installation through Instant NGP and through Nerve Studio has improved a lot. Earlier, like I installed Instant NGP about eight, nine months ago. And at that point of time, it was a little cumbersome, but now it's just like uh, us installing any other software. You just download some uh, binaries and then you have a .exe file, you'll run it and your things are running. And for Nerve Studio, uh, there are clear-cut instructions on their website, and they have given you even the commands. You just go through them on the, your Anaconda, on a, uh, Anaconda prompt, and it will be done. So yeah, good luck. Thanks. Yeah, a couple of things regarding equirectangular images, which I forgot to mention is, uh, it's a rule of, a uh, thumb that when you're splitting equirectangular images into multiple perspective images, normally the field of view, this is your horizontal field of view and your uh, vertical field of view is kept at 110 degrees. And you would split your uh, uh, a single equirectangular images in either eight or 14 perspective images. You can change the number, but mostly research papers and yeah, people who are using rectangular images, that's how, that's the common practice that they're splitting it into eight or 14. And another aspect is you can also try splitting images. So there is one way of splitting image when you're moving, uh, rotating in 360 degree without like moving up. So once, uh, once you rotate your uh, images, once you take um, uh, multiple perspective images by rotating in Z axis, then you would also tilt in X axis and then take another couple of photos. So uh, what it will do is it will help for uh, more geometry reconstruction in your nerve. And uh, another thing that's, that's very common for equirectangular images is, uh, as you would have seen, okay, I'll show you. Yeah, so as you have seen the equirectangular images, the distortion is maximum at top and bottom. So another thing that's common amongst uh, 
users who create who create nerves using rectangular images is that they they take a center crop of this image and they get rid of this top and the bottom portion so in a way it helps them to reduce this distortion effects which which result, result in better reconstruction i guess so yeah those are two two uh, points which i missed and yeah you can use them if you want yeah that's it